We are just people, people. We have no special powers. We have nothing. We're just people. We, we have intellect that God gave us. The only thing that makes us important is God. Ooh, you don't like hearing it? It's true. We never was the evolution shit that these scientists say that we uh, all came from apes or we cousins the apes. That's the biggest lie ever told. If that was the truth, then you're telling me my God is monkey-like. Anybody's God is monkey-like. That white dude with all that long blonde hat that you call Jesus, he look like a monkey. So, <laughs> and that's who you guys believe God is. So if that's God or Jesus or whoever it may be, how did he come from an ape looking like he look in your churches in that stained glass up there? How did he become human when he started out looking the way he do? <laughs> See, this is just a, there's so much stuff that we are lied to about is, 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 is downright silly. God don't give a damn about if the earth is round, flat. He don't give a fuck about Sigmund Freud. He don't give a damn about all your brainiacs. None of that. All God cares about is you serving him. That's the purpose you here. You here for God's purpose. We don't care how good you play your music, how well you rap. We don't give a damn about that. Oh, I mean, man. as Christians, they don't. Because God never said in the Bible, if you rap good, you go to hell. If you find out whether the earth is round or flat, you go to heaven. God wants you to be more or less helping people, feeding people, clothing people, you know, giving shelter to those that need it. That's what God, God wants you to love mankind. And if mankind causes you to sin or do anything that's not of God or what God wants you to do, then you disassociate. That's when the Bible says you cut off. If your right hand causes you to sin, you cut it off. That means disassociate. That's all he wants us to do. We are not powerful. We are not powerful. You can't stop yourself from dying, can you? Huh? Can you stop yourself from getting old? If a train hit your ass, can you defy logic of survival? If a tornado comes, can you stop it? See, that's what I'm saying. We just people. That's all we are. You know, we don't have no powers. People. We just people. Who do we think we are, man? I mean, we just sit up here with all this attitude and all this criticism and all this speculation and all this backstabbing and cutting down and all this. All I'm basically saying, I see the news. I see the attitudes. I see these smart mouth fuckers just running off at the mouth like diarrhea of the lips. <laughs> and you're not helping. You're not contributing. You're just talking shit. If you got all these answers and all this stuff figured out, I beg of you, get off your fucking ass and fix this raggedy ass country. Patch up those problems abroad. Work this shit out with these folks. And let's have a life. And stop saying, you got your shit, you get yours. Help, share, help you manage, give a fuck. You know, a lot of shit you want to know about this, what I'm saying. Look at YouTube. I mean, if you add some things in there and have YouTube pull it up, you'll find some incredible shit about what's going on in this world that don't make the news. Because the CFR and the Illuminati control the news. And the stuff that we hear has been filthy. Our news can only report what our Illuminatis and CFRs and companies and organizations that secret don't let us hear. If, if I heard somebody say, if you want to know about what's going on in the world, leave the country and you'll hear the truth about America. We some dirty motherfuckers. All the shit that's going on in Africa is caused by interferences of other nations. And Africa is over there acting a fool. It's interferences and shit of them intruding Africa, exploiting it, using it, fucking it over. You heard of blood diamond? You know, there's so much shit that's going on over there that they don't tell us 
And we think Africa just crazy over there. No, it's a lot of shit that's causing that country to act a fool. To act a fool. They fucking that place over. And nobody gives a shit. You know, we got a plight right here. And Obama sees that shit, and he's trying to rectify that shit, and y'all squabbling and talking shit like a motherfucker. Look, ain't nothing that brother gonna do four years or eight years that's gonna take this motherfucker from you. Nothing. Let him do what he gotta do. You had it all this whole time and ran this bitch into the ground? What the fuck you scared of? What is he gonna do? And then they got this Uncle Tom ass motherfucker named Steele, Michael Steele. Republicans ain't never had no black ass nigga over there, you know, representing the Republicans. But since they got a black president, they posted up this, this Uncle Tom, Michael Steele, to fight against and cause all kind of shit and got something to say to Obama. I, I swear to God, even in a black man's finest hour of being president, you got some Uncle Tom ass house nigga that swing with the whites, you know, to fight his brother. What kind of shit is that? What's wrong? Let's work it out. Let's put this shit together. Let's have a real United States, a fair and balanced one. You know, and then maybe I ain't gotta sit up here and talk all this shit on YouTube or any other damn place I post this stuff up at just to be heard by somebody. I just don't like this ugly I'm looking at. I just, all this unfair bickering and shit on cable news and shit slipping out of folks' mouths and just saying all kind of crazy shit and doing all kind of stuff and threatening the president and, 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 and people can't get along and folks don't quite understand all abroad what the fuck is really up and you know it might somebody might haul off and kill somebody you know the world would be real real good if it wasn't no fucking people because we the ones that cause all this shit the earth ain't fucking itself up you know it's us that's fucking with people we can't leave folks alone and keep our hands off a of motherfucker. My mom used to tell me, if you can't say nothing good, don't say nothing at all. Well, I guess I done abandoned that for right now, because I'm a little warm. This bullshit have just got to end. People got to, uh, what, what it take? You know, you know, that's why, you know, when the, these hurricanes and shit come along and kill you motherfuckers, I feel like, you know, and kill some of us or whoever. You know, it feel like, you know, man, that's, I kind of feel like, man, that's a relief. Because they don't have to deal with this bullshit no more. The ones that got killed in the hurricanes. And, and like I say, the less people it is, the better the world will be. Because it won't be nobody fucking with each other and causing hell. And every day you wake up, you got bullshit going on in your life. And it's people that causes that. I'm a trucker. 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 I'm a